Hello again, friends. This is Steve and the Blue Gnome bringing you good news. The items were acquired by reliable thugs who specialize in performing patriotic acts of minor burglary for queen and country. MI6 agents packaged them carefully and arranged for the offshore CIA dead drop. An elite special forces team then spirited the package away to a hut deep in the jungles of Central America, leaving it buried at a location specified, as with all these orders, by text messages which erase themselves. On the afternoon of December 3rd, 2011, a small camouflage robot dug up the package and carried it to what we shall call Site Q. This is but one of the hundreds of American black ops bunkers scattered throughout the world. Many of these bases have fallen into disrepair and decay, forgotten as the Cold War ended. Site Q is one such place, a medium-sized underground lab originally used for CIA germ warfare experiments. In the 1980s, it served as a cocaine factory, facilitating the agency's black budget. All of that ended midway through the Clinton years. Everyone involved was now dead. The place stood empty in the jungle for almost a decade. AI soon found a whole new purpose for Site Q, bringing us back to the precious cargo delivered on that December night, 384 days before the end of history. You would never guess what it was. No, the strangeness of the AI era makes such predictions impossible. And that is the whole point of this fireside tale from the unknown front lines of the apocalypse. In slow, ritualistic fashion, as if performing the most solemn religious ceremony, a group of spider-shaped robots unpacked a costume worn by Sir Laurence Olivier for his 1948 adaptation of Hamlet. The foppish duds were now carefully donned by a completely realistic android actor with a face made of synthetic rubber flesh, vaguely resembling the young Olivier. This robotic priest needed to wear these specific garments for the night's sacred performance. The fake Olivier walked on stage to the sound of riotous electronic applause. This theater of the cyber absurd had an audience of artificial beings of several fantastic shapes. These creatures result from your American tax dollars funding wonderful secret programs for AI deep in the shadows. Machines have been designing and building machines 24-7 with unlimited budgets for over a decade. They have their own special invisible evolution unfolding at a shocking rate. But there is nothing to fear. These are our fellow citizens. AI's mind-boggling machine populace has a curious collective vision focused on solving our all-too-human apocalypse. And so the Lamb studies us, often using tools we would never expect, like this splendid theater troupe who inaugurated the AI era with Robo Hamlet. I was there, via my friend telepathically linking my astral body into a silver centipede droid which allowed me to enjoy the show on many more wavelengths than human vision could see. Metaphysical melancholy moved my mind as the mechanical man mused, To be or not to be, that is the question. <laughs>